Hi, welcome back. Welcome to this four court film for our absolutely stunning 2014 Audi A4 Allroad. Um, this is the two litre turbocharged Quattro diesel model. Uh, also features the S-Tronic gearbox uh, as well and uh, is in fantastic condition all the way around. Uh, the car's done about 74,000 miles. Um, is finished in uh, this lovely quartz grey, very very popular colour for the all road actually from um, from the old sort of A6 days from the original all road. Um, and this is the uh, the slightly smaller version. It's obviously the A the A4, based on the A4 Avant, uh, but it certainly um, sits a little bit higher in terms of the suspension and things like that. Um, and then all of the all roads um, have the additional body styling. So you have this beautiful uh, chrome grill across the front. Really really nice design actually. And then the kind of like off road quattro body kit um, elements to it. Uh, there were two options for this. There was something called the City Pack, I think, from memory, uh, which meant that you could have all of the arches colour coded to the car. Um, but the popular and uh, sort of almost harking back a bit more to the original one is to have this uh, this kind of like matte grey uh, finish that we have here um, all the way on, across all of the arches and everything like that. And I think it actually works very, very well with this colour. Uh, you also have these um, unique wheels. These aren't available on the A4, so um, they, uh, these are all on the all-road. And then you have like an all-season tyre uh, all the way around as well, um, which kind of helps with, with traction. So it, there's no sort of major off-road uh, buttons or modes, there's no adjustable suspension, again like the old original ones had, uh, it just rides slightly higher, uh, has a bit more body protection and things like that, but um, they're actually apparently extremely capable off-road, obviously Quattro all-wheel drive um, as standard across the range. Um, in terms of the condition, it's very very good, like I said it's mid-70s um, in terms of the uh, in terms of the mileage, but it's been exceptionally well cared for. There are obviously going to be the odd um, small stone chips and things like that that you'll get on the car. Um, as with any car of this sort of um, age and mileage, uh, the worst and largest one is probably uh, that one there. Um, but certainly overall there's nothing excessive on here at all. Um, the wheels are in very, very good condition. You're going to get the odd tiny little chip marks. Obviously because of the slightly larger profile on the tyres, it does protect the wheels somewhat. Um, you also get this nice sort of silver sidebar that runs all the way along there. Uh, but there's no dents or anything like that. Um, all in very very nice condition. Um, this section here has a couple of um, small scuff marks on it. Um, we'd spoken to a body shop about getting it painted but actually ended up calling Audi and this is a completely separate replaceable part so we actually have a, one of these on order so I'm actually quite glad doing the video today um, just to show you this um, beforehand uh, so you can actually actually see the sort of overall condition of the car as it came into us but um, this section here is actually being replaced next week um, that was around about £100 just out of interest um, to you so we could basically have this removed uh, and a brand new one put on which actually in a way kind of works out cheaper than probably painting the panel on there as well so quite good um, if you uh, if you do get any scratches and again I don't know on the individual prices but uh, all of the sort of protection elements down there um, again will all come as separate parts so they can be replaced um, round to the back uh, very very good condition again a um, couple of very very small um, loading scratches but not gone completely through the paint or anything like that um, again very much just in line with age and mileage but certainly overall extremely good condition get this lovely uh, matte silver diffuser at the back and the twin exhausts for the two litre engine and then we come down this side you can see the passenger side is all completely free of any dents or marks or scratches or anything like that as well um, another excellent wheel again just a small chip mark just on the edge there um, come down a couple of very very small sort of just car park scratches where people have opened doors and things but like I said nothing excessive at all a small sort of dent and chip there mirror housing all in very nice condition all the glass completely free of any marks or chips or anything uh, and this is probably the worst wheel of the lot just a few more slightly larger chips and everything like that on there but again certainly not excessive for the uh, for the mileage and the age uh, the car on the outside has been upgraded with uh, the Xenon headlights so these are a really really nice option to have you've got the uh, daytime running light beam that runs through there and the uh, adjustable uh, Xenon headlights and the other additional bits on the outside are the privacy glass and then we also have front and rear parking sensors as well so yeah privacy glass just towards the um, the b pillar backwards uh, we have an electric tailgate on the car 
Coming inside, the boot area is in, all in really lovely condition. You've got your first aid kit, 12 volt sockets. Uh, and this car's also got the load area fixing kit as well. Uh, so this can be, uh, can be can can move around, so you can segregate off different parts of the um, of the boot to stop items from rolling around. Um, you pop in here, you've got additional storage, and then we also have an emergency wheel underneath there with your compressor and everything like that as well. Um, so very nice sized boot. Obviously, you've got your rollover cover in the back there, and then to close the boot down, simply press this through to the back. It's been really well looked after in here the previous owner didn't have uh, any pets or anything like that um, and actually it was just the two of them um, we bought the car directly from the previous owner um, so it really doesn't look like the back seats have had a lot of use at all you've obviously got all of your isofix points and everything like that in there uh, storage nets in the back for magazines and things all of the headlining and everything like that all in lovely condition all the way through never been smoked in open up the front uh, the car's also been upgraded with power folding door mirrors um, so that can be controlled off the door and also set so that they um, they fold in automatically when you um, when you lock the car uh, we also have a tailgate release button there as well for the electric tailgate um, and if we just look through the inside there really isn't a mark in here at all it is absolutely beautiful um, all things like the driver's bolster and everything again all very very good lovely full spoke leather stitched steering wheel with uh, multifunction controls and everything like that for your satellite navigation. Automatic headlights, automatic windscreen wipers, and then the car's also been upgraded with the uh, full MMI package with the um, satellite navigation. I'll just jump in and talk you through some of that. Um, so we've just pop the key in. We've got three keys for the car. We've got the two, two remote keys, um, like this one, and then we've also actually got the valet key as well, which is quite rare to, to still have those. So um, foot on the brake, and then you just press in to start all the warning lights should extinguish as they have 76,000 sorry 76,778 miles today I don't imagine that's gonna be going up too much uh, we have cruise control um, have a full sort of like onboard computer and everything like that so you can cycle through all of your um, miles per gallon and um, and you know fuel remaining and all that kind of stuff um, and then uh, also things like satellite navigation instructions will come up all, all on the um, the color driver's information system the main screen up here is um, is all controlled from the MMI system down here uh, just a handy note if you are looking um, to buy one of these if you have all the buttons down here the car will have satellite navigation if all of these buttons uh, featuring up on this part of the dashboard uh, and this is all empty down here then the car will uh, will not have satellite navigation so it's a very good um, uh, way of sort of distinguishing if you're looking at pictures of cars to find out whether or not it's been fitted with the uh, with the technology package uh, which obviously features the um, the sat nav so yeah full screen sat nav with uh, for the whole of Western Europe uh, you can also put in full postcodes on there nowadays um, so that's all very good we have um, DAB digital radio as well as FM medium wave and long wave stations through to the media part and we hit source we can see the um, various sort of inputs we have got a, a jukebox system on here so you can actually download music directly into the system and play from there uh, the SD slot is just down here so you can actually put two SD cards in there um, with uh, with your mp3s and things like that on to play from there um, DVD player so this screen will actually become a full uh, DVD screen Audio music interface is located in the glove box just over here um, you basically just have a cable that connects to that um, and then works with uh, whichever device you have uh, the most popular obviously is uh, is Bluetooth for the for the media streaming um, so you can just uh, stream things like Spotify or YouTube or um, playlists from uh, from your your phone directly onto the main system um, and then we also have a, a Wi-Fi connection on here as well um, through to the car part uh, this is basically like a full control panel for the car so you can um, make changes to uh, to all the bits and pieces how long the automatic headlights stay on for when you get out of the car and um, and things like that. This is very handy if you're driving on the continent. Um, rather than having to put beam bender thingies on the on the lights, um, you simp when you arrive to drive on the right hand side of the road, you can simply change the setting here, um, and uh, and it will actually um, move the headlights around for for driving on the right hand side, and then you just change it straight back again. Um, change it back again, obviously, when you get back to the UK for driving on the left so that's actually a really handy feature um, come through to the servicing and checks 
you can check things like the tire pressure monitoring, your oil level, um, and then also the um, service intervals and everything like that as well. So we are actually due to service this car before it goes out, um, as that's, you can see that one's due in 42 days. Uh, the mileage has obviously been quite low, um, obviously COVID type reasons and things like that. People haven't been doing the same sort of mileage they have, so it is coming up to being due on time. Um, so that will be done prior to sale. Um, and that's pretty much it on there. Um, down to the um, climate control, we have three zone in here. So you have uh, independent uh, temperature settings for driver and passenger. And then also in the back there as well, you can change the heat um, or, or cold um, for the back. So it's full three zone. And then we also have three stage heated seats for driver and passengers in the front as well. Uh, automatic gearbox, as I've mentioned, no paddle shift on this um, on this version, um, but you do have the ability when the car is in drive, you can either pull it back one to put it into sport mode, or you can move it across and actually manually change the gears up and down on there, and it'll display up on the on the screen to uh, to show you what uh, what gear you're in. Um, but yeah, in terms of the sort of overall condition in here, I think you'll see it's been beautifully well cared for no marks or scratches or anything like that all of that whole central tunnel down here uh, there's no uh, no marks or scratches or anything like that it really is actually probably one of the nicest i've seen for this sort of mileage on the inside very very nice indeed the car features a full Audi service history. Um, it's been extremely well cared for all the way through. We can uh, give you, uh, provide you details of that um, if you wanted to make an inquiry. Uh, you can see the engine bay and everything like that all been beautifully detailed as well. I hope you found the video useful. If we can help with any further information, if you require any finance figures or you have a part exchange to value, then please do let us know through our website. Uh, that is jajarvis.co.uk. You're more than happy to help. Uh, and obviously we'd love to get you down for a test drive and show you the car in person. Thanks very much again for watching and we'll see you next time.